Hello guys, I just wanna show you how to make a MPC ready a proxy with Scryfall and Photoshop. So first, first thing you need to do is uh, download the template, um, the Photoshop template, a non land template copy.psd, uh, that template is not mine, so thanks to his uh, creator, uh, I will mention him. So, um, first thing you need to do is open the, the template and you'll see three layers, a border layer, layer 2 and layer 1, which is normally a waste, uh, but I've changed, changed it, uh, but it's not a problem. Um, then, when you've decided which card you want to uh, to proxy, just go to its Scryfall page and download PNG image. Uh, normally, I've already downloaded it, so I will just drag and drop it, but um, I'm gonna do it for the example. Uh, just click on download PNG image and then drag and drop it into Photoshop, then hit Ctrl C, uh, go to your template tab and you can hide the previous uh, layer and hit Ctrl V. Then use the move tool to make sure it's centered. Uh, when it's like this it's okay if you have a blue cross instead of only a horizontal blue line. Uh, it's also okay. Uh, then when it's centered, just use your bucket to before use the tool to select the black uh, the black color in the background layer, and then hit use the bucket and hit the border to make the the border of the card black. Then use the paintbrush to make the bo the corners clean. Uh, then we have almost finished. The only thing left to do is remove the wizard, uh, the wizard trademark, because MPC will uh, refuse it if you let it on the card. Uh, the, so just make a rectangular selection around it and use your paintbrush to erase it. And uh, then it's done. Just do file uh, export as PNG and you're done with uh, that card. You can directly upload it on MPC and use the proxy. Uh, the only problem you can have is uh, using old cards that don't have modern frames with uh, the wizard's trademark on black background because this, uh, this copyright will be uh, really harder to remove. So what I can uh, suggest you to do is go to mtg.design and just hit create and uh, mtg.design is a custom card maker but I use it to uh, make uh, older cards in uh, new frames um, as you can see there is no uh, original uh, set symbol you can upload one if you want but as uh, MPC is obvious uh, is obvious proxies. Uh, MPC, MPC proxies are ob obvious proxies, so I don't feel like uh, using real uh, real logo is useful. So just fill in the blanks with the, your current information. So name and a cast type, uh, rules text, and flavor text. Then for the art, so what I do is I just go to the Scryfall page again and right click download art crop and copy link address and I just paste it here and when you've filled everything just render it and you'll get the, the preview of the image then download it and drag and drop it into Photoshop again and uh, we'll make uh, the same thing as uh, the, the original uh, Scryfall uh, image, but uh, we first need to unlock the layer and then hit Ctrl C. Uh, we can hide this layer, Ctrl V, move it to make sure it's centered, 
perfect. Uh, use the bucket to make sure it's the good color. Uh, and use the paintbrush, paintbrush in the corners to erase them. And uh, personally, I I remove this line because I don't feel like it's useful. But you can obviously let it. Uh, let it on the card. You can also erase the not for sale if you want. And uh, that's it. That's also okay. You just do exportation, uh, quick exportation as PNG. And uh, it's okay. So um, you can have a preview of a uh, crate roof behemoth uh, on screen. I just I did uh, with this method and. Uh, that's the result I got. I know some people do uh, alpha and brightness adjustments, but I'm pretty satisfied with the result I got, so I don't, I don't ad adjust uh, those settings. Uh, and you can also have a preview of an Elvish champion, which has only an old frame, and that I made with MTG design. Uh, and yeah. That's pretty it boys, uh, thank you for watching and don't hesitate to ask questions if you have ones.